My father is Sammy L. Arian. He was a University of South Florida professor when he was arrested on February 20th, 2003. The government for many years had been trying to go after my father because of his activism on behalf of Palestinian human rights and uh, because of his speeches, some of which were deemed controversial. After 9-11, they really saw an opening. There was this um, environment of fear and hysteria and they built a case against him that collapsed very easily once the trial actually took place. But, um, you know, it definitely took place in an environment where people were very much afraid and intimidated. The Bush administration basically had been trying to show that it was fighting terrorism, when in fact it started going after the very people, American Muslims, Amer well-respected leaders, that it should have been working with after the 9-11 tragedy. So people like my father who spoke out against the attacks, who donated blood, who organized events against the attacks, who was very much willing uh, to, to be sort of an ambassador, a connection between the Muslim world and the U.S., actually became a target because of his opinions, because of his First Amendment protected activities. And he wasn't the only one. The idea is to really try to smear someone's reputation, to try to use guilt by association and other really reprehensible and un-American tactics in order to basically pave the way, in order to create an environment in which it's easier to basically get away with prosecuting someone unfairly and unjustly. And at that point, there's such a, an environment of, of fear, fear that pervades really both you know, the Muslim community, the Arab community, but also the wider society at large, that very few people are really willing to speak out against these injustices as blatant as they are. I think people are more likely to be outraged about some of the controversial policies that are being implemented when they themselves feel threatened. It's rare for people to really speak up for others who are being threatened. So I think unless and until people feel that their own rights are under attack, I'm not confident that, they w that there'll be a mass movement as far as people speaking up and opposing these laws. There have been really um, controversial policies being implemented as far as the FBI sending agent provocateurs and people, paid informants, often people with long rap sheets to basically infiltrate communities, to start enticing people who may not have the best judgment to be ensnared in FBI-manufactured plots. And this is a strategy that's been used against countless Muslim communities all over the country. It's affected at least 200 people that we know of. And now it's being used against Occupy protesters. It's being used against anarchists, both in Cleveland and in Chicago. So you could see that these policies may start with the American Muslim community, but they're slowly trickling down to other activists and people who are simply trying to, to advocate causes although they may be controversial that they believe in, but then you have these agent provocateurs and FBI agents who bring violence into the equation, even though it may not be there to begin with.